Here he comes. Big old blow. Big. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, man. What, what I tell you, to took you to my spot. Huh? Look at that big flathead. Hold on. Hold on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't done, was he? Huh? Look what you got him on. That's that Chris Flory's Demon Dragon, baby. Alrighty, folks. You've seen from the videos that Demon Dragons catch fish. They catch stripers, blue cats flatheads, channel cats. I think we've had over 23 different species caught worldwide on demon dragons. It's a great product. We've received thousands of videos and thousands and upon thousands of pictures. If you'd like to send some videos to me, send them at Tennessee River Monsters at yahoo.com. But today's video is a little bit about how does demon directions actually work and will they hold big baits? And we're going to do today, we're going to put a big skipjack head on a demon dragon and show you how they work. Demon dragons are originally designed for dragging, which means dragging your bait along the bottom, or for use for anchor fishing or bank fishing in current. Basically what happens is the sinker lays on the bottom. If you're dragging, you're dragging the bait behind you, the boat, or if you're casting anchor fishing or bank fishing, you're throwing a bait on the bottom with a little bit of current, and the current keeps the demon dragon in the bait uh, at a 45 degree angle. But anyway, we're gonna show you some videos exactly how demon dragons work and how they handle big baits in the water. If you got any questions, Please leave them in the comment section, like and subscribe my video, and share it with your friends. Let's do it. Okay, folks, the first test we're going to do, we're going to take this skipjack head, and we're going to hook just a regular catfish rig with no float, and we're going to throw it out here in the water, and let's see if, let's see if this skipjack head will sink. So, let's go down here and throw it in the water, let's see. I'm just going to pitch it right here in the water and see if it sinks. And as you can see, the bait sinks. Let me pull that back up and do it again. Let me get this moss off of it. Alright. I'll pitch it again. This is without a peg float or a demon dragon or anything. As you can see, it sinks. The bait sinks all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to bring it back in. Alright, let's do test number two. Okay folks, this time we're going to do the same things we did as test one, except this time we have a demon dragon rigged up. So, we have no sinker on here. It's just the bait and the demon dragon. So let's go out there and let's see if it sinks. And as you can see out there, it does not sink. The demon dragon keeps the bait up. Let's do that again. This is with the same bait as before with the demon dragon. And as you can see out there, it does not sink. The bait will not pull that demon dragon under the water. Okay, folks, test number three is we got the skipjack head, the demon dragon, and this time we're going to use a six ounce sinker. And I'm going to let you know how long the leader is. The leader is right under, this is a 12 inch school ruler, so we're going to say the leader is 11 and a half inches. So we want to make sure we get an under 12 inches of water. We want to be above 12 inches, 14, 15 inches of water to see if the demon dragon will float this thing up off the bottom. So let's go do this test, guys. Okay, folks, we got a little spot right here on the water. And it's probably two foot deep, which just means when I put the sinker on the bottom, the demon dragon's going to be under the water. Let's see if it floats that bait. There it is. I'm going to drop that sinker on the bottom and look. See that demon dragon floating that bait up? You can see it floating the bait up. That sinker's on the bottom. Sinker's on the bottom. See it floating that demon dragon up? Now, if you're dragging a bait, of course, this is not a dragon sinker, but if I'm dragging a bait, this is what that thing's doing. Look, what a, look at the action. Okay, there it is. I'm going to raise the sinker up to the surface. Right there's a sinker to the surface. And you can see with a little bit of current we got the float. So now I'm going to drop the sinker. I'm going to drop it. Now I've dropped it probably 12 inches. Let's say it was on the bottom right there. This is what your bait's going to be doing with the Demon Dragon. 
gonna be floating right behind the bait. I'll drop it down some more. See how it's still floating that bait up? Drop it down some more. See how it's still floating that bait up? There you go, folks. Shows you what a Demon Dragon does. That's with about a 14-inch leader from the swivel to the Demon Dragon. Drop it back down. You can see it floats the bait up.